Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be drawing Starfire from Teen Titans Go. So the first thing I'm going to do is sketch out Starfire. And I know what she looks like because I watch this cartoon all the time with my daughter Elena who absolutely loves Teen Titans Go. It's her favorite cartoon. And I have to say I enjoy it too. It's my favorite cartoon that she watches because we both laugh a lot. I'm doing this drawing on Fabriano Bristol paper and it's uh, nice and thick so I can push really hard with my colored pencils. And the colored pencils I'm using are Prismacolor. So what I like to do is lay down a really thick coat of like my base layer um, and I just go with like you can see the skin tone there and then pink for the hair and then later on I'll go over that with a white colored pencil to kind of give myself highlights and add value and then darks and stuff so for the for the pink hair I'm using a violet for my shadows because I don't want to use black yet I want to build up my values uh, so I'm using blue for or violet for the pink and you'll see me do all kinds of other stuff as far as layering the colored pencils to get a, a nice value range. So you can kind of see that I went with the proportions of the cartoon characters. They have these huge heads and tiny little bodies. Um, but I wanted to kind of make it my own. I don't like to necessarily uh, straight up copy uh, what somebody else has already done. I mean, you can watch the cartoon and see that. So for what I like to do is I like to take something like that and then add my own little twist on it. So you can kind of see the proportions are all there. She's got the big head, but she definitely has um, a different style. So right now you're going to see me start to lay in some black uh, for shadows and you're going to see the character really start to take shape and kind of come off the page a little bit once I add these shadows in. You can definitely see it in the hair. It really makes that face pop forward. So the metal uh, parts of her armor, that's the only area where I'm not going to lay down a really harsh base coat. I'm going to really just take, like I took a light blue there and lightly colored it in. And what I'm going to do is blend that out uh, with white colored pencil. So working on the metal, uh, you're going to see me kind of do some light black on it and I'm going to go over that black with the white colored pencil again and you can kind of see it really adds like kind of this metallic look to it and I'm going to add some more colors a little bit later on to that metal as well but I'll always do it lightly and I'll always blend it out with that white colored pencil and it'll give me a nice metallic sheen. So at this point I've got pretty much the drawing uh, almost finished. I'm just going to go in and add some darks, some uh, darken up some shadows, uh, highlight, make my highlights pop a little bit more, especially on the cheekbones and stuff like that on the face. I want that face to look really round and stick off the page. So have you guys ever heard the term overworking a drawing? Uh, because that is just about to happen. Uh, at this point, I like the drawing. I should have just left it alone um, and I start overworking it. I'm going in with the blacks. The eyes were bugging me a little bit, so I tried to fix them and it just wasn't working. I had so much uh, pigment on the paper that it just, I, I wasn't getting things to act the way that I wanted them to. And so you can see I'm, I start screwing with the eyes. Um, 
I'm just adding darks. I even do an outline at some point that I don't show on here, but the drawing was much better like three minutes ago. And at this point, I'm just digging myself a deeper hole. So at this point, I'm done with the drawing. As you can kind of see, I added an outline and I changed the eyes completely, which I liked it better before, but whatever. Uh, this is my daughter's drawing. Uh, the middle character there is Starfire. Um, that's Robin, and that is Cyborg and Beast Boy on the very end. Uh, she loves to draw, and that's actually why I did this drawing, because she had drawn this, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna draw you Starfire Bug. So, that's my finished drawing, but right now I'm going to show you what I did in Photoshop to this colored pencil drawing. So I pretty much just took the smudge tool and smoothed out all the rough colored pencil look to this drawing. I made it look very uh, computer graphic and it was pretty easy to do. Uh, just paint it over the top. Right here you're going to see them side by side so you can really see the difference in the two. and what you can kind of do with Photoshop to get a totally different look. So that's the video. Hope you guys liked it. And if you did, I'd uh, love it if you'd share this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe.